guess what I got? The Power Beats Pro. Beats always has the best stylish looking headphones out there, but is it worth it if they sound bad or you can't take any calls on them? You're doing preacher curls in the gym and your grandma calls you. Are you gonna be able to use these? Will these fulfill your needs? Let's go and find out. Apple uses their H1 chip. The latency out of these things is amazing. I can use the outer button here and play the track, double tap to skip, and both of these have volume controls, which is pretty nice. Like I said, you're on the phone with someone at the gym and you need to adjust the volume. It's pretty cool. Apple advertises nine hours of playback. I find this to be pretty accurate. With the case, you get 24 hours of charging. So that's roughly two and a half charges with the case before you have to plug it back in again. Now, what I don't like about these is that they still use the lightning cable. And again, this is Apple's flagship product, their most expensive pair of headphones, Bluetooth sports, earbuds. So customization, you can actually turn automatic ear detection on and off. This is actually a pretty nice feature. So if you do take these out of your ears, they will stop playing. Even if you do press the button, it's, it sometimes still doesn't allow to play. So that's a very sensitive feature. I actually had to turn this off because when I was testing the latency with these headphones, uh, which is really good, by the way, as soon as you press and play, it immediately starts playing the track and immediately skips the track. You can even have these uh, locate the case where you last have placed it and accessibility. This is a nice setting and I'm so happy that they have this in here is the tone volume. So if you're listening to music that's just not loud enough, you can actually adjust these for an extra 25% boost. And as soon as you set these up, it does allow you to use these with Siri, so it will announce who's calling you and you can choose to turn this off. You can customize these in the settings as to what specifically it announces for you, so that way you don't just get a bunch of stuff being announced to you all the time, like your grandma calling you. Personally, I'm not too impressed with the sound quality out of these headphones. They just have a lot of high end, and I'm used to having some deep low end in my headphones. I think the on in-ear headphones sound much better. They don't sound as, as harsh in the high and you get a lot more low end. And if it's too much low end, you can always turn it down. But when you don't have any low end, it's so hard to, to try to add that in. Now there is some low end, don't get me wrong, but the high end is just a little bit harsh for my taste. So for podcasts, I actually didn't mind this because it was nice clear audio. But again, I just, they, these were so much more pleasant to listen to and these were about $15 as opposed to $150, you can get these right now. I also think if you want some more premium quality headphones, the Soundcore A40s are really good, but again, these do not have the ear hooks like the Powerbeats, so these do slip out of my ears very easily if I'm running, uh, lifting weights, so these aren't my go-to headphones for working out. And what's nice about the ear hooks with these Powerbeats Pros is that you can actually customize these, you can bend these to your liking, you can keep bending them so if you got some big ears you can fit these accordingly now the on in ears do the same thing and they're much softer and they actually extend a whole lot more out so if you got some really big ears you know that your grandma gave to you down the line i don't know why i keep saying grandma it's kind of funny but it's not funny because some people probably know okay I the ear hooks hurt my ears. I don't know what it is. 20 minutes, I started getting this pain on the outside of my ear, which is not what you want when you're exercising. On the left side, left ear, I don't have any issues. I've tried adjusting these. I've even tried wearing these this way, back that way, this way, which eventually they'll fall out. And during my workouts, I was actually having to pull the hook out because it just kept hurting me. So I was wearing them with it uh, out of the, the ear. When I was lifting, I think that was uh, usable to do that. I think it's fine if you, if you leave it like this. It's not behind the ear. I think that's, that's totally fine. But if you're someone who's sprinting, running, I couldn't see myself doing that. And I actually tried running with these outside. I tried sprinting and I was wearing the worst shoes possible. But the headphones did not fall out while I was trying to run. But some of the things that are nice about these headphones that other headphones don't have, like the Soundcore A40s, the on in-ear sport headphones. They don't have the best call quality. And, and being able to skip tracks, uh, pause and play with, without uh, any sort of 
major latency is really nice as opposed to these headphones even with the on in-ear sports i can't skip tracks it just doesn't work so sometimes it pauses and plays you know the volume is not consistent sometimes it doesn't go up in gradual increments i don't know if these have a timeout of 15 minutes i know that the sound cores actually do have a timeout so if you don't use these for 15 minutes they actually do turn off which is really nice but with the power beats i think these things just stay on constantly which is um, not something i like i like to be able to turn these on turn them off but that's not any different from the uh, sound cores because you can't really turn them on if they do turn off you kind of need the case to turn them back on so that feature eh, not the best again if you're someone that likes a loud bass or you want a flat sound i don't recommend these headphones i just don't think they're worth it for the price i honestly prefer my a40s any day over these power beats I prefer the on in ear headphones over the power beats just because they're way more comfortable. It's just this wire though. You can jump rope with it. I don't want to jump rope. And another thing with the cheaper headphones is that skipping tracks, it doesn't really work well with Soundcore. I've gone into the settings, enabled the, the, the button controls that they have. They're mostly just touch, touch, a, it's like a touch pad thing. Yeah, it's, there's no physical button. You just tap on it and it supposedly works. It never works. And again, your ears, everyone's ears vary with this stuff. You might not have any pain. The only way you know is if you try it. So I'm still on the hunt looking for some sports headphones. Let me know what suggestions you have down in the comment section below and what other reviews do you want me to do? I don't care what it is, as long as it's not a Lamborghini, a mansion, or uh, I don't know, my grandmother's iPhone 4S, I'm okay with it. Anyways, 